Hey everybody, this is Ada Wells, physical therapist, Pilates teacher, and OOV educator. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can use the OOV in um, helping to improve people's shoulder, organ shoulder girdle organization when they're doing things in sideline, which will help translate to, if you're doing a more, um, like a more advanced class where you're having to, to require your clients or your patients to go into more of a side plank position. This just allows them to have a little bit of an experience without necessarily uh, putting all of their weight into the shoulder. And once again, great for rehab applications. So um, what we're gonna do here, once again, for those of you who haven't seen the OOV, but you guys have because you've been following me, um, the OOV is a very interestingly shaped um, tool. And it is something that is um, I find is great to be able to work on creating support for the body, to create a little bit of myofascial release, to help facilitate some of the slings and the muscle relationships within our bodies. And, um, and so, like I said, it's something that I use pretty much with everybody that I have in here. So we have a whole bunch of these lying around my office, lying around my studio. But what I wanted to show you was um, something where, you know, say you're working on somebody to be able to start learning how to weight bear on their shoulder. Now, for those of you who might be Pilates teachers, you know, it might be something as easy as doing the mermaid exercise where you're trying to push off and they're trying, you're trying to cue them to be able to organize the shoulder while they're pushing on something. Now, you know, pushing is something that you need to do as part of your daily life. I mean, you gotta push the door shut, you gotta, you know, you know, put weight on the shopping cart when you're pushing it down the aisle. Sometimes you're pushing it sideways because you're, you know, sort of scanning what you're seeing. So it is a functional activity. And, you know, when I'm teaching it uh, just as a mat exercise, sometimes people um, have a tough time knowing where they are in space. You know, they might be on their side here and, you know, the shoulders already rolled forward and, you know, the, 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 rib is, the ribs are coming down. And I, when, I, when I have a person just in a mat environment, I sometimes just have them slump into that uh, position so they can feel what it feels like, which doesn't feel great. And then I have them push away so they can now feel how they've got a little bit of space underneath them, um, not only in the rib cage now being lifted, but now they actually have the shoulders sort of out of the ears here. And this is a nice strong position to be able to start any sort of you know leg work or just being able to sustain this position here. Now, I love the OOV because the OOV enables a way for some of the people who maybe, once again, if maybe they've come off some rehab, it's a little harsh for them, this might be tough. And, um, and so the OOV allows us to be able to take a little bit of the weight off, but to still encourage those good mechanics. So um, I would just have the person lie down on the OOV with the hips in the saddle here. And, you know, and, and with regards to whether the legs are straight or bent, if someone's a real beginner, I would have the knees bent. But if someone's a little more advanced, let's challenge them a bit, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create that long line. Now, I love to be able to bring my toes, I don't know if you can see them in, my, in, the, uh, in the frame here, but to bring my, my feet into dorsiflexion, okay? We stand, all right? We stand on the bottom of our feet. We need to have that range of motion. We lose a lot of that, so it's nice to be able to, to place them there. So now we're on the surface, it's a little bit unsteady, but it is helping to just get the weight um, off of my shoulder a bit. So if I were to kind of try to slump here, I actually am not very stable, okay? It actually makes me a lot more unstable when I go into a bad position. But if I actually go ahead and push my elbow right through the floor, it now has strengthened me. So I can just feel, it's giving me the feedback that this feels right. Once again, if I come down in the slump position, I have now become more unstable and it's harder to balance on the oof. So it's a great way to give that, um, like that feedback. Now, if we wanna make this a little bit more of a workout, we can do all of the great things that we might do in a mat class where we're actually encouraging the person to create some stability at the pelvis as they move their legs. Now, I love to be able to add, to add the element of rotation because life doesn't occur straight up and down. There's a lot of rotation, counter rotation that happens. So anytime you can introduce a little bit of this, and not only that, I am weight bearing on the shoulder and I'm allowing for this gentle weight bearing to start exploring these different rotational motions, okay? This might be really tough for somebody, if, you know, if we're on the floor, you, you can't really do this as easily or you're in a fixed, fixed position, but the OOV allows for some of this movement, allows for a little bit of support, but at the same time, we're still having a, we're still being um, challenged 
and the stabilizers in my core, okay? So this just gives one of the many, many, many um, ways that we can utilize the OOV, but that just is a really simple way that you can do it if you're just doing a mat exercise at home and you do have an OOV. So give that a try, and once again, if you are somebody who is a Pilates teacher, fitness trainer, physical therapist, chiropractor, and you want to find a way to be able to work your patients in three-dimensional way where you can slow down motion, create some support, but at the same time, you know, have something that they can lie down on that's kind of a fascia-friendly surface. Um, the OOV is a great way to do it. So I have the link for that um, upcoming continuing edu course, education course, um, OOV Fundamentals and OOV for Pilates. It's coming here to Alameda, Oakland. I'm 10 minutes from the Oakland airport, so you can fly in. It's really easy. And, um, and hopefully you guys will be able to come and check it out, see me here. And if you have any questions, um, by the way, I do have an Ubers and Shakers Facebook group. If you haven't already joined it, go there. We like to have little pictures of our Ubers and um, people will post um, ideas. And, and there may be also some other um, trainings and smaller workshops. So if you're somebody who's not a, a professional, but you want to be able to learn more, um, we're going to be hosting some of these three, sort of some small, sort of shorter, maybe three hour workshops around. So just stay tuned, you know, like I said, you know, share this with somebody you think might be interested. Maybe you take Pilates or maybe you, you work out with a trainer right now and you would really like, gosh, I, I would like them to find out more about this. Share this with them so that, you know, you're able to spread the word. These are, like I said, they are crazy things, crazy tools, and um, I just absolutely love the oof.